guys welcome back to with your tips in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix forza horizon 5 disconnecting issues and how you can fix this up so let's dive into it so the first one what you have to do is you just have to follow these instructions that you just have to press windows and i key all together so that will take you to settings over here and from here you just have to go for network and internet over here at the top now from here you just have to go for change adapter options now from here as you can see it is connected to the Wi-Fi so you just have to right click and you have to go to properties. Now from here I have to click on internet protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4 so you just double click. Then I have to move this one and I have to change this one obtain DNS server address automatically to use the following DNS server address. And I have to give both preferred DNS server as well as alternate DNS server. So the preferred DNS server is 1, 1, 1 and one sorry and one and the followed dns server is eight eight and eight and eight now you just have to tick on validate settings upon exit and go for ok and this is what you have to do and once it is done you just have to go for ok and it is done right so as you can see it is getting done so once it is done you just have to wait for it and once done with this you just have to follow the next instruction that is most probably by this this issue has to be fixed and even if it's not working, you don't have to panic. We have one more. So you just have to go over here and you have to search for CMD, have to search for CMD and go for run as administrator and go for yes. Now from here, you just have to give the command IP config space slash flush DNS and you have to press enter. And now you have to give one more command IP config space slash register dns press enter and you have to give what you have to give the command once again once it is done you have to give the command that is ip config space slash release press enter and now you have to give once again ip config space slash renew press enter and last and the least you have to give one more which is once it is done you have to give n-e-t-s-h windsock reset so don't have to worry i'll be giving these in the description so you don't have to worry on that and once it is done you just have to close this and you have to try to open your game by going through the uh, by going through the steam and you have to see whether you are done with the issue or not and if it's still it's not fixing we have one more solution where you can go over here and you have to navigate to settings now from here you just have to go over here on the privacy now from here on the privacy you just have to sorry you have to go back now over here in the update and security you have to go to update and security and from here you just have to go for windows update and you have to go over here on windows security sorry once again and over here we have virus and threat protection you just have to click on this and you have to go over here at the bottom ramps under ransomware protection you just have to click on this now you just have to go over here and you just have to allow some of the things in order to do this so you just have to give allow threats or something so you just have to go over here in the same way as you can see the virus center protection setting under this we have manage setting so it is also done over here so guys now from here you just have to go for ransomware protection just have to click on this and we have an option called allow and app through controlled folder access so you just have to select this and go for yes now from here we have an option called add an allowed app so you just have to click on this and browse all app so you have to go to the uh, local C where your pro, uh, where it is been installed for example it will be in C where I have installed the game so you just have to go over here and program files and you have to select this and you have to go for steam folder you will be finding this here when you saved it and you just have to add the game that means you just have to add Forza Horizon from here and once it is done you just have to add the app and you have to do a restart and you have to see after doing a restart whether you are done with the issue you will most probably will be able to fix the issue up and these are the basic things which you have to try out when Forza Horizon 5 is disconnecting issue and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out